Hi, folks. I'm Chris Foss. Uh, I'm Chris Foss. Should I come? Uh, anyway, um, I've been thinking about doing a vlog for a while, which is a video log of my life, uh, day to day, a day in the life, if you will, of Chris Foss. Uh, which uh, I don't know why anyone would ever want to see it, but uh, uh, well, let's talk about it. So, anyway. Um, uh, a long time ago, I used to watch Renetto, uh, if you ever followed him on YouTube, and it started, I think, back in 2006 when I first saw him, and he would uh, go on and do live vlogging, talk about his life, talk about his ideas, talk about all sorts of stuff, and I'm a big mouth, if you don't know that already, and I love to talk, share, and everything else. I've always been that way before social media with my companies. I always wrote, the as a CEO, I always wrote, you know, the... Uh, newsletters and the mass emails to go out to people and I always was how trying to have a conversation so uh, it's kind of in my nature so um, anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this vlogging thing I've I know a few people do it like Chris Brillo and a few other friends of his um, that I've seen do it and I'm like you know what I'm gonna give that a try um, and uh, I have a pretty unique life I'm single and I don't have any kids or a wife who's going no you can't do that here so there's a lot of wild stuff I can do at my house that uh, it's pretty interesting without anybody going, oh, you can't do that or film that or whatever. Um, I have my two beautiful dogs, of course, if you don't know. And my life's kind of weird because um, we get deliveries every day. Uh, it's kind of like Christmas. We get, you know, sometimes we get FedEx, um, the mailman, U.S. Postal Service, I guess you call that. Uh, we'll get the UPS folks and whatever. We get stuff delivered to the house that we have to review for the Chris Voss show. And part of my house is set up for as a studio for recording. So um, we already have like all the cameras and stuff. So that's kind of one of the other things about this vlogging concept. We already have the cameras. I already communicate a lot. So it's a little bit more. And being a single person and uh, having my dogs means I talk to myself or I talk to my dogs a lot and and they never talk back, which probably means that I'm <laughs> bloody insane. Uh, but uh, there's all sorts of different ways that I've come up with to entertain myself in life, and I'm a bit of a joker and a comedian. So uh, some of my some of the things that I see in life and tune in life are very interesting. And I, you know, I po always post pictures in social media. So uh, I'm like, well, we will post video instead. You can get a little bit more live background and some of the weird stuff that I do. <laughs> And maybe you'll find it interesting, and maybe find you won't. But uh, we'll try and keep you entertained. And if not, we'll it'll just suck ass. <laughs> so um, here we go. Let's try this. Let's let's see what a vlog is about. And we're actually gonna have some really cool stuff. We have some unique uh, things that we're gonna do, especially with the dogs that you'll get to see. So stay tuned. No flicking. Um, <laughs> my life is so interesting. I'm gonna share it on a vlog. Yeah, right. <laughs> what do you do, Chris, all day? Well, there's a lot of crying and holding yourself in the fetal position. <laughs> My life is so lonely. Um, I don't, whatever, I don't know. I'm too busy with so many projects and different things that we're doing that I just don't have time. The other thing we thought, we thought it would be a nice addition to what we do with a podcast and the Chris Voss Show, and we thought it would be a nice addition to, you know, everything else that we do on YouTube. So <clears throat> let's uh, do a segment of the show that uh, we'll call... What did Chris Foss get in the mail today? And uh, usually it's pretty interesting. We get, you know, uh, different mail from the services. And this is something I got. Let's see if we can find the other part of it here on my desk. Uh, from Hyperion. Ooh, Hyperion. Now, I had to order this from Amazon, so they didn't send it to me like most PR promotional companies do. Uh, but what this is, is this is a, I believe it's 6400 or 6200. You can look it up. I'm too lazy to do that right now. I'm busy talking to you. Um, and uh, it's a huge giant ass battery as you can see and it comes with a case we'll talk about why that's important now here we have the Galaxy Note 2 Galaxy Note 2 is from AT&T, AT&T.com thanks to our friends there what you do is you order the battery through Amazon is that obvious enough when I say Amazon.com you pull the back off your Note 2 now this only works with the Note 2 with this particular battery and then you de-insert uninsert, whatever, your battery, and then you insert the big battery. Now see, here lies the problem, because if you try and put your old case back on, it doesn't work. You just have this ugly ass, it's kind of like s'mores sandwich going on. <laughs> like, ah, it went close. You could, try, you could try and super glue the ends down. That might work. Let's see. Then your phone will look really funky. But what's nice, it would have this airflow, and the airflow... <laughs> 
shit I make up. This airflow would <laughs> be sometimes I entertain myself with my own stuff. Um, the airflow will keep your Galaxy Note 2 cool, so it serves two purposes. But unfortunately, we don't want to do that. So what you do is you throw this away, and then you take this new thing that you have, and you take the new case, and you put it on here, and then it works. But here's the problem. I ordered this from Hyperion, and uh, bada bing, bada boom. I ordered this from, our, from Hyperion, but look, the case is chipped right there. You see that? It's just not me. And then uh, let's see what we have here. There's another place where it was broken right here, and it was broken up here. Now, probably not the thing to do when you have something a piece of plastic that's this thin is to ship it in an envelope. <laughs> through the U.S. Postal Service because it just isn't going to survive. It's just not going to work. So, so thankfully, Amazon has a great return policy, so we're sending this back, and we're going to get another one that we've ordered in, and then when we get one, we're going to view it. But it's pretty cool. Look at that. It's like 6,200. It's twice the size of the Samsung battery, and um, you can see that there. It's uh, pretty, pretty darn huge. So um, that's going to be that. So every time on the show, we'll do a what did Chris Voss get in the mail? And we'll uh, probably open the boxes so you can see what we get, some of the post and pre-production that we do and work and all that good stuff. So we're going to cut this here. We're going to go to another segment, record this, and it'll be uploaded in the future. Anyway, so uh, here you can see this is my beautiful table with uh, really nice wood on it and uh, really nice linens. Picked the linens out myself. Um, Ten-seater table. Pretty big table, huh? And this is where we do our principal shooting uh, for the Chris Voss show and the blog you get to see the behind the scenes mess that we make when we're or when we're blogging stuff there's our camera eye and uh, well this is the focus uh, area of the camera for focus if you go to PHOCUS you can see that and then uh, here's our battery light and then we have the tripod like you've never seen one before right so you can see here we've got a bunch of stuff we're backed up on. We've got to get reviewed a bunch of Incipio stuff from our good friends at Incipio. We really like their stuff. This one's kind of interesting, and I'm interested in reviewing this Stanley one. This is like an ultra uh, kick-butt high-end one. And then we just got done reviewing their Incipio uh, mini iPad case, which is really cool. You can see another Incipio over there. And this is uh, something that I've, I've reviewed these Myonixes before. Um, but this is kind of a new one that's kind of galvanized. So here's some more Incipios. We've got a catch on one. We just got these the other day. Uh, so we're going to review that. That's for gaming. You can see some of our lenses and stuff and some of the lights and crap. Oh, here's another Myonix. This is new. This is a new gaming mouse that we got from Naos 8200. So we're going we're gonna to check that out. We're going to play with that. So you can see here i got a lot of work i got to do. i got to review all this stuff and get it out and, and tell everybody if it's good or not, which is something which we have to determine. But normally most of these companies we've reviewed before and they do great products. So there it is. You get to see how the Chris Voss show uh, goes about its business. This is a really nice table, by the way. I should show you the table as long as we're, we're, we're doing character development at the beginning of this vlog and showing you um, what we... What, what, are, what the characters are that you'll see on the show. But you can see here, this is a beautifully worked table. Really nice. I've had this for about 10, 12 years. Beautiful table. Cost me a small fortune, let's put it that way. <laughs> and this is what I use it for. <laughs> what are you going to do? The life of a single guy. Here's a segment of the show we'll be doing. This will be called Doggy Cam. Doggy Cam! Doggy Cam. Hey, stupid. Go. This is the doggy cam segment of the show. For the dogs. We have a camera at dog level. This should be interesting, I think. It's live, it's live vlogging with the doggy cam. Doggy cam. Doggy cam. Shadow. Shadow. What you doing? You guys like, you guys like the treats? You guys like them treats? You guys like them treats? You guys like them treats? Come on. Whose treats are this? Whose treats are this? Whose treats are this? Whose treats are this? Hmm. So our dog gives a lot of treats. Huh. 
I'm doing this day, Chris and Dad, huh? Doggy can. So I'm at uh, John's place having some breakfast. John's place. I'm trying this place out. I think they did the food pretty good. What do you think? It's uh, all this for like six bucks, I think it was, or something like that. This is the revolutionizing fast food. It's kind of weird. You, it's like a, it's like Denny's only you go up to a counter and eat, order like you uh, order at McDonald's, but then you uh, go sit in a booth. It's kind of weird. And they bring you your food, and uh, they're really into pineapples, I guess. Lots of pineapples. So, I don't know, I'm going to eat this. What do you think? Looks good. Let's taste it and try it. Alright, so here's my review so far. My breakfast. The eggs are uh, pretty good. The uh, eggs take about 26 hours to get made by chickens, so that's like a whole week's worth of work there for a chicken. And uh, I guess these eggs came from a... I guess these eggs came from a, a chicken who... Uh, she couldn't find a man, so they just turned into plain old eggs instead of actual chickens. She's kind of a ghetto, she was kind of a ghetto chicken mom, so she couldn't find a man to stick around and give her some decent eggs, so I ended up with them on my plate. And then there's the piggies. The piggies uh, obviously didn't fare well either uh, <laughs> in their whole life plan. They end up on my plate. And then the potatoes, well, potatoes are just potatoes. Alright, so what most people don't know is that... Uh, <laughs> I always post all the nasty stuff I eat because it's fun. It's going to get comments. But this is the uh, stuff that I try and eat once a day. Uh, so it's usually a smoothie. And usually I make it up all the way and then uh, burn it out as I go. You can see here we uh, made this uh, probably yesterday. It's got a lot of beets, a lot of beets and crap in it. Beets and apples. We're going to try and spice it up a little bit though. We're going to add a bag of, what is this? Bag of pineapple. And, uh, to it, so let's throw all that in there. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit because I need it. I need something that's a little bit different right now. We've always, we throw greens in there and everything else, but uh, get to see what we're up to here with this thing. So let's give it a little whirl. Makes for a great video, huh? And there you go, more tasty, more healthy. Oh, good stuff. Let's see if it'll pour. Uh, it'll barely pour. That's a sign that I didn't use enough water. But I like it this way, so what I'll usually do is add some water, and then swirl it up, and then go ahead and drink it. You know, just kind of drink it throughout the day. And uh, give me uh, much more healthier than what I would normally do, where I would normally drink. Actually, that's not too bad. Where I would normally drink uh, Mountain Dews, try and drink this instead. Of course, usually I add a lot of greens to it beets, vegetables, uh, carrots, things of that nature. Don't want to overload my system with too much sugar. But uh, this is a whole lot healthier than some of the things I've been doing in recent years. <laughs> This is uh, some of my bananas and my, my bag of beets. My bag of beets! For those of you who don't believe I'm eating beets, you're like, Chris, all you're doing is drinking blended blended barbecue ribs. You probably would think that, a uh, grapefruit in there. These are pretty good. These are some, uh, I think, some uh, spinach and mushrooms, uh, tortellinis, or raviolis, or something that I've been eating. And I've actually just started, some, there's some left over after the spaghetti. So I'm actually just kind of chewing on these like chips, pretty good. And they're not hard or anything, but you know, they're tasty. They got spinach in them, so they're good for me. So, anyway, uh, this is a bit of foreshadowing for the next uh, uh, vlog, vlog two, if there is one. <laughs> Anybody watches the first one? Anyway, uh, what we're doing is we're looking at uh, the UPS uh, alert system to tell me that what packages are being sent my way. And we're expecting some interesting things, but you can see here the first package alert I got is the Amazon returns on web. They're going to be picking that up. Uh, but here's the interesting thing that we've got, and you'll want to tune into the vlog part two so that you can uh, see what this is because you're really going to be freaking amazed. Anyway, 
To give you a bit of a tip-off, it's from the Harman Consumer Group, Harman Kardon, you may have heard of those folks. And we have one package, two packages, and three packages. So three different packages coming from Harman Kardon. And we've had great friends uh, at the JBL Harman Kardon uh, company. And uh, they've had us testing out all sorts of really cool JBL products. You can search for those at chrisvossshow.com. But they have something really choice and in-store coming for us that you're definitely going to tune into my next vlog and see. And you're also going to see the reviews on the Chris Voss Show. So if you're watching this, uh, make sure that you search for Harmon Carden and JBL on the Chris Voss Show and see what this was about. So now I've got that that battery pack all packaged up. Amazon's going to come back and get it. And I hate shipping stuff. But what's really cool, if you don't have the Amazon Prime account, get the Amazon Prime. It's worth the 70 bucks a year. But I think they have it for 9 bucks a month now. But it's awesome. You can buy all this shit that you normally would buy at the store through Amazon. In fact, what's really nice is your dry goods can be there. But anyway, we're turning that battery pack that came to us broken. So and there's actually another one that's coming. So I intend to review that when I finally get one that's I finally get one that's not broken. I like went out of focus there for a weird second. Anyway, something else I wanted to show you. This is this is the dilemma that I'm having today. This is the trials and tribulations of Chris Voss. It's with great sadness that I am suffering the potential loss of my droid DNA. Now this isn't my phone. This is actually Verizon's phone. From Verizon. It doesn't come out very well, does it? Oh, there you can see it. We can get it in focus. Focus, goddammit, focus. Anyway, um, see how the see the Google Plus is right there. When did the hell did that start? When did they start doing that bullshit with my videos? Google, I don't, I don't pay you to advertise on my shit, um, but I guess that's the way it is. So anyway, um, had this for a few weeks. We have to return it to Verizon. I'm having a really hard time giving back to Verizon. <laughs> As you probably know, we have all the major phone companies sending us phones. So that's going to be the fun of what you're going to see in part of this video blog is all the phony stuff we do. Um, but I really like this phone. It's very pretty. It's pretty. I like to touch it and I like to hold it. And I like to be near it. And sometimes I lick it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it, but it's, it's a beautiful phone because it's got a 1080p screen on there. It's the Droid DNA. By HTC, and I'm really surprised there hasn't been a whole lot of people that thought this phone was awesome. Uh, in fact, it didn't get a lot of views on YouTube. The review we did of it, um, and it's just kind of become a HTC's kind of been kicked to the side by the Samsung iPhone powerhouses of the world. But this is a really beautiful phone, and we viewed a lot of Motorola's that Verizon has sent me. And I, I haven't had too many problems with sending them back, but I'm having a real problem sending this one back. I mean, I really am. I, Really like it. It's pretty. It's thin. It's got the beautiful bevel back. 1080p out the front on the camera. 1080p on the screen, which most of your phones nowadays are 720. But it's a really beautiful phone. Fairly fast. You lose a little bit of speed because that you would normally have because it's a quad core, I believe. Um, but you lose a little speed because of the uh, because you're you're performing 1080p screen rendering. Uh, but the screen is just so beautiful. It's just so crisp and pretty and lovely. And I want it so bad, but I have to return it. So I'm trying to figure out a way that I can have them sponsor me. And that's South by Southwest. Maybe I'll come up with something evil uh, in the next 24 hours. Well, I'll call them up and be like, hey, man, uh, you should give me this phone. But uh, we'll see what they say about that. That should be funny. They'll be like, hey, man, you want to keep working with us? You better return our damn phones. <laughs> Hey guys, so was that fun? You guys like the doggy cam? It's pretty cool, huh? Doggy cam! Doggy cam! Cover for the doggies! Cover for the doggies! Shadow, hey, look, say hello to your public. Say hello, public. Hello, follow us on YouTube. Give us a like, please. Yellow Streets. <laughs>